Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now today We are reacting to someone who we have reacted to many times before on this channel and that is Ricky Gervais uh, Yeah, we have reacted to him quite a few times in multiple different videos as you see up here We reacted to him in uh, when he said what he said at the Golden Globes and that was a very long time ago uh, But no, we're back today reacting to one of his stand-up acts. This one is called Fat People uh, you, you know, he's, he, said, he says it how it is so um, I'm looking forward to getting into this because because, like I said, I do enjoy a lot of the stuff we've reacted to with Ricky Gervais in, the Ricky Gervais show. And yeah, there's been loads of stuff and I'm very much looking forward to getting into this. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the reaction. And here we, we go, guys. In the first place. Why are you applauding someone for suddenly acting like a normal member of society? It's like, it's like I've lost a bit of weight. I've lost about 20 pounds. Exactly. What? No. No. You're basically applauding me for only eating as much as I need now. <laughs> I should have always been doing that. I got fat because I was a greedy, lazy bastard. There's mm. no other explanation. And I, I, I needed people that they come to me now and they go, oh well, oh, well done, you look great. But they weren't telling me I looked terrible. They're basically saying I looked terrible. They no, don't, no one told me at the time it was really taboo. I needed waiters to come over and go, fuck off, you've had enough. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> And I've been criticised in the past for having a go at fat people. I've never had a go at fat people. I've only ever pointed out the fact that you get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off. That's simple science. I don't judge them in any other aspect of their life, but that's what happens. You get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off, OK? And th that's indisputable, OK? Now, the thing is, people think I'm having a go. I'm not, because I don't judge them. If I see a fat person, I don't make assumptions about him other than how they got fat. And, this is the other thing, they not, no, wait, wait, right? <laughs> not only is that what makes you fat, people know that's what's making them fat. No one got fat behind their own back. No, no. No one ate and, ate and went, what the fuck's that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's not a surprise, it's a gradual process. Mm -hmm. You have loads of time to You don't wake up one morning project. and you just... And, and he, also, no one's sneaking into thin people's apartments and uh, injecting their lettuce with a million calories. That doesn't happen, okay? They know what to do. If you go up to a bloke and he's surrounded by cakes and pies, right, and you go, you know what's making you fat, don't you? He doesn't go, is it all the running? He knows <laughs> what it... <laughs> but I don't make judgments, okay, other than how they got fat, yeah. okay? If I see a fat person, I don't go, oh, he's fat, therefore he's jolly, right? A lot of them are miserable aren't they? If, if I see a fat girl, I don't go, oh, she'd be pretty if she lost weight. <laughs> That's rarely the case. Okay? <laughs> so don't fall for that, OK? But a lot of them started eating because they had fuck all to lose. So, oh, whoa. No. But there's no stigma attached because it, that, people don't even want to use the word fat now because I think it's derogatory. Yeah. It's a real taboo subject. So they use euphemisms. They go, oh, you know, Brenda, the f big girl. <laughs> what, seven foot? No, no. Not to. What does she look like? Brenda, you know, she, she's the one who's clammy even in winter. Okay. <laughs> Just say she's fat. Nothing wrong with it. It's their choice. It's up to you if you want to be fat. It's fine. But they don't. They go, you know, Brenda, that she's out of breath just standing up at her desk. <laughs> just... Yeah, that's when you know it's gone bad. But even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, I feel sorry for them, right? Quite, no, quite, quite, I can. Quite, I can. Particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. <laughs> we don't come under the same constraints of society. Whereas women are inundated with images of how you should be. Size zero models, this diet, that diet, look like this, keep your man. And they make such an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've all, always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair. They've always got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails, haven't they? They make an effort. Anything but jogging. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> they love high heels, don't they? They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. It just... <laughs> you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. I'm a judge, I'm, I'm dead, I'm... 
<laughs> oh, that's really good. That's really good. Like you, you hear, you hear a lot of them before. A lot of the same stuff, like on uh, multiple seats and stuff. But the high hills one, and you, you, you hear them coming. That's good. That's good. And he, he is right though. Nowadays, it is, it is quite something like stigmatized. It's not something that you can really talk about like openly because there's su there is you, you can't mention it because you don't want to you don't want to make someone feel a certain way and yeah it, it's like he said it's it's not the sort of thing that people are plagued by it's not like you wake up and you've got the world against you it's like he said you just gotta exercise if you do eat over what you need just make sure to burn it off as well it's it's not like it's not like you're born and it, it, you're instantly like it's no no it's a gradual process but um yeah really funny really funny let's keep it going Yo, shut up. i'm not having a go i'm just pointing out you know I was listening to uh, the radio in England a few weeks back, Radio 4, quite highbrow. There was a discussion about political correctness. My name came up straight away, right? <laughs> and there was this woman on there going, oh, yeah, well, it's, it's not right. Um, uh, Ricky Gervais, um, he makes jokes about fat people. Um, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No, it's not. What? <laughs> you can't choose your sexuality. As we've established, you choose whether to eat too much or not, you know? You're, yeah. With, with, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, and that's it, you're gay, okay? For being gay to be the same as being fat, you'd have to be born, be straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself onto cock. <laughs> but... He's not wrong, no, is he? He's not wrong. Happy 16th birthday, son. Um, <laughs> this is Raoul. Suck his cock. <laughs> Sorry, father. Suck his cock. 16 now. Suck his cock. I, I, I'm heterosexual. Oh, with his newfangled words. Suck his cock. Come on. Right. I, I don't like cock, father. Doesn't like cock. How do you know if you've never tried it? Ah! <laughs> suck his cock. I don't, suck one cock. Suck... Uh, oh, that's not sucking it. That's playing with you. Put it in your mouth. Put it... Uh, oh. Look, t t t t have a go. You might like it. Oh. It's not so bad, is it? Oh, I fucking love these. <laughs> <laughs> if that happened, then being gay would be the same as being fat. Yeah, but it doesn't. Yeah. So it's not, okay? I was on a plane last year, okay, going from New York to LA, okay, and me and my girlfriend were one side of the plane, there was the aisle, and the other side there were these two huge fat women, okay, proper, proper, proper fat. One of them just got on and went, can I have a belt extension? Yeah, of course you can, you've earned it, right? So... <laughs> you've earned it. <laughs> Proper. In fact, I was thinking of calling the pilot out and going, should one of us swap with one of them? Otherwise, we're bit just of, going bit to of balance. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and one of them was even fatter than the other one, okay? Mm. And she was there, and she'd got on the plane with one of those takeaway buckets of fast food. Bucket! I mean, there's your first clue. When did that happen? When did fat people just give up? When did they go into a shop and go, oh, fuck it, just treat me like a farmyard animal? Really? <laughs> yeah. Give me a bucket. In fact, just strap it to my fucking head. And just... A bucket? <laughs> really? You want your meal in a bucket? Yes. Right? So she's there and she's chowing down, right? And I swear, she turns to her fat friend and says, this is the best fried chicken I've had all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that blows breakfast out the window. He does uh, he does make a good point though when it comes to the the whole bucket thing. Like, let's think about KFC for example. Back in the day, if you were to get a take, the way I think about KFC back in the day is it was all sort of a restaurant situation. Plates, knives and forks. You're eating it inside the restaurant, and then things become more convenient. People are on the move, so you decide to take it away in bags. At what point was there so much in the bag that it did become the bucket? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, did it, were, were the bags just breaking? Did they think this is getting ridiculous now? Or was it, I, I don't really know. It would be interesting to find out. But, um, yeah, let's keep it going. But I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 
Because even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, um, I don't know if you know this about fat people. Um, they fucking love cake. <laughs> they love it. They love it, right? And I blame the food industries, because you go into the supermarket and it's just packed with that stuff. Everything's packed with hydrogenated fats and extra calories and sugar and butter and mm. everything. And they, they love that, OK? And there's always a big door, isn't there, to a supermarket? It's always, they've got a quadruple door, isn't it? No one's ever been too fat to get through the door of a supermarket, OK? <laughs> and it opens automatically, so they don't have to waste calories pushing anything. There's just, <laughs> yeah. and it's a good job it opens automatically. It's usually it's glass, and they can see the pie from down the road, and they're in like that. Uh, <laughs> grazing, right? So, I say, keep the big door. Keep the big door. Sure, keep the big door. Come on, fat people. Come in, you go. But when they get in there, it's all fresh fruit and veg. It's all whole grain. It's all stuff that's mm. good for you, OK? Of course, they'll be confused at first. They go, well, that's, that's not real food to them. They think Brussels sprouts is packaging, right? They're, <laughs> they're looking, where's the cakes? Where's the cakes? The cakes are over here, but the cakes are through a different door. But this door is human-sized, OK? <laughs> so now they go, there's the cakes. They go, oh, fuck, I can't get in. I can't, can't get through the fucking door. I can't. <laughs> and they're starving. I go, oh God, I've got, what's this? I've got to eat some, what's this, a banana? <laughs> and they go, oh no, it's all coming. They're back and forth for days, and the fat's falling off, and soon they can slip through the door. There you and go. I'm a cake. They can't get out again. No, but I mean. <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. I mean. Yeah, yeah, this was good. This was really funny. And he, he did bring up some interesting points. What he said um, at the end about uh, not being able to fit through the door, it reminded me of the South Park episode. Do you remember the one where uh, Randy, the, uh, he gets these massive balls. And he can't get into the weed store anymore. That we are. I love South Park. I love South Park. Definitely going to be reacting to some of that soon. But I really hope you guys did enjoy. This was good. Uh, my favourite part of this was the bit about uh, the high heels. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. And I hope, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, I know we've reacted to Ricky Gervais quite a lot before. And I don't see any reason for that to stop. This was um, really good. And I hope you guys did like it as well. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later for the next video.